Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Tonight, before I die of heat stroke, I'm going to compare some bourbons. What bourbons? Great question. Tonight we're comparing this old Forester barrel strength single barrel to Stack Jr. and Elijah Craig barrel proof. And 2019 George T. Stack in a little mini tiny sample schmample bottle. Old Forster single barrel, barrel proof is going in glass A because it is not available yet. Elijah Craig, barrel proof, batch B520 is going in America B because it is considered to be one of the best value bourbons on the market. Easy to remember. 2019 George T. Stagg is going in C because the bottle of George T. Stagg has horns like a caribou. Thank you, like family, for this sample of George T. Friggin' Stagg. You guys friggin' rock. And in D is Stagg Jr. Oh my Oh, a shiny popster. Batch 13, Stag Jr. is going in D. Because this bottle came from Dramhound. Thank you, Dramhound, for this bottle of Stag Jr. Batch 13. Hope I don't tear a quad spinning four bourbons at the same time. I call this the quad spin cycle. Which one's which? Which one's which? Which one's which? No idea. Couldn't tell ya. Ope. 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 This might be the most epic battle in ADHD whiskey history. Except for that one time I woke my wife up in the middle of the night. And then that was a pretty big battle. Because of the... <laughs> Sleep screaming. <sighs> First glass. Not much, what the heck. Let me swirl it more. Maybe it needs a better swirl. Bread. Hmm. Fresh homemade bread. Ooh. Now it's turning into a toast. A little cinnamon. A little cinnamon toast. Maybe some bananas. Maybe some bananas. Bananas, cherries. Huh, a very inviting sweet nose. Uh, number one. Let's take a taste. Wow. That is a potent son of a bee. It's very good. Huh. Interesting. A little oak. Powerful. That is a powerful drink. Like a speed bag. Oh, my little flipper on the back of my throat. <clears throat> Barrel char, tobacco, like a burnt cherry, a burnt cherry, charry tobacco. And it was really good. Number two is a sweeter nose. It's sweeter, a little brighter, a little bright red fruits, razzleberries, red apple. After the old spin job, the SJ I like to call it, I'm getting some darker fruits. Black cherry. Maybe some dates. Let's taste number two. That is quite good. Wow. Spicy. Spicy. Sweet. Catcher's mitt. That is a Rawlings catcher's mitt. Stuffed with spicy cherries and alcohol. Lots of alcohol. So much. It's good though. I like it a lot. These are real.
really, really taking a number on old Tudor's face mouth. Whew. Glass number three. Grapes. Red grapes. I haven't done a barrel proof flight like this in a while. So bear with me because that's what you normally do. Like a, like a box of the Mike and Ike red candies. The red, the red delicious ones. Red, red delicious. Red feb for delicious. Ooh wee. Getting some floral notes on here. Some barrel, some oak. Some oaky, florally, huh. That's magical. So far, I think I like this one the most. So far. Ooh. That has a familiar nose. Like, this is like a wilted, a wilted, um, like a, like a wilted peach or a wilted, like one of those wilted peaches thingies. Huh. Oh, it reminds me of one of those candy peaches. Like you get the <clears throat> the, ha the Hasbro or is that something, bro? The candied peach rings, the, the sugared peach rings. I smell that. I smell it. My nose can't handle all this pressure. Grr. Now oh, I'm sitting here, being the world's top whiskey taster, or the uncrowned world stop whiskey taster, and I'm having a little bit of problem on the noses of all these high proof bourbons. Why is that? Is it because my nose is trash? Not a chance. Is it because these bourbons are trash? Hardly. Maybe I just need to focus a little bit. Waffles. Friggin' waffles. Oh my gosh, all I had to do was focus. The Belgian waffles. Not the ones you make in the morning, but the ones that come in the wrapper. I might be the only person on earth who's ever bought them because large. But they come in the plastic wrapper and they're pre-cooked Belgian waffles. That's what this is, for sure. I just had to get serious, that's all I had to do. Little cherry cola finish. That's good. All right. I realize this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be hard. These are all very good, and they are seemingly pretty similar almost, which is strange because they're not. They're different. Took a five minute break. Terrible idea. Just wasted. Wow. That turned into a thing. That turned that turned into a real that turned into a That turned into a real drinking competition and I lost. This is totally scientific. This is the most scientific barrel proof flight that you're gonna get. Because this is science. And if you don't believe that, then you are a flat earther who believes in chemtrails and you don't like thong underpants. So what's up with that? This porter found this order to be the correct order for porter. In fourth place is A, which is a bit of a letdown because A was all Forster barrel proof. Single barrel. No crap. Whoops. That just takes my video and shoots it in the ass. Why would it have to be that way? Literally, can't make a video without something going wrong. Son of a bitch.
I'm just a stupid idiot with the best palette on the planet. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. In third place is C, which is... Oh no. Oh boy. No oh boy. Tonight couldn't go any worse. Tonight was a bad night. So dumb. So stupid. So, apparently, apparently uh, in third place is George T. Stagg, 2019. All right. Cool. In second place is B, which is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B520. Which means, what's the proof on that? Anyway, the proof on it. The proof on it is 133.4. That doesn't sound right because I'm a moron. What am I doing to myself every single time I make a video? All right, well, this was B518, B518. It wasn't B520, it was B518. I literally grabbed the wrong bottle of Elijah Craig. Have I been drinking this for a while thinking it was B520 and loving it? I'm so stupid. That means in first place is D, which is Stag Jr. Batch 13. Ah, oh, Stag Jr. freaking killed it. And then an Elijah Craig from two years ago, which nobody cares about. This flight could be completely different if I did it tomorrow. A barrel proof flight is like the female of flight. You never know, you never know what kind of attitude it's gonna have. You never know how to place it. You don't understand it. You just enjoy it and you love it and you deal with it. And tonight I've got to deal with it. I put George T. Stack third place, Old Forster single barrel barrel proof in fourth place, a 2018. Elijah Craig in second place is so stupid. And the winner tonight was Stag Jr. Batch 13. It's really good. My name is Matt, and this is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on not doing things stupidly like I did. Because it makes things harder to make look smart in the future, like when I edit this. And that's a problem because I gotta do that and I don't want to now. So stupid.